<laughs> All right, we took a flight from the state of Rio to the state of Pernambuco. And so now we are in Olinda, which is Portuguese for Oh Beautiful. And behind us is the monastery. The monastery is was burned down. It was invaded by Dutch, but then rebuilt and one of the reasons it stands out is that it's got a totally gold, um, what do you call it? The thing at the beginning. <laughs> the altar, the altar is all you. gold. The altar is all gold. And so um, if this is the first stop on a scavenger hunt that we found. It's um, a scavenger hunt that we found on Get Your Guide. And this is our first stop. So we're excited to see really cool things while we do this hunt. Um, yeah, I think you can see. The Cife right back there, which is the capital city of Pernambuco. Pernambuco! Uh, it became the capital after the Dutch invaded Olinda, which was the capital. Uh, the Dutch looted it, kind of burned it to the ground, ran it, ran it to the ground, so they made Hasife the new capital. But the city of Olinda has actually been, it was founded in I think 1535 or 6. I believe that. And it's been a city ever since then that's been lived in since then so it's really old there's a lot of history here and hopefully we learn a lot about it on this uh scavenger hunt okay so in the house here there's a famous singer named Alsu Valenza and apparently he still lives there he's super famous and does uh <laughs> He's super famous and sometimes does performances out of his balcony, so people come to see that with him. Um, we're pretty sure we saw him, but we're not sure. Um, but the thing that's really cool about these buildings is that they didn't used to have house numbers, and so there's all these really distinct markings and color, and so you can tell which house from each other. And I'm thinking that maybe a lot of the Olinda Carnival happens right around these streets because everything's kind of looks like it's ramping up for it and I believe that's what it, it said as people standing out here for Carnival get entertained by him singing off of his balcony so so far this is a really nice little town has a very New Orleans style to it Definitely did the walking tour. We, we learned way more on this walking tour with little hints than had we just walked around by ourselves. So, thank you, get your guide. Lots the little pubs. Might have to check this one out later. Nothing like listening to Jamaican. Nothing like listening to Jamaican music. In the film. <laughs> All right. I don't know what this guy was trying to say with his address colors, but <laughs> kind of dig it. I think he was trying to find it after he got drunk one night. He was like, this is definitely to my I'm gonna stick out. Cause yeah, they're all different, but for the most part, they're blue and white or white and blue <laughs> and then a yellow. Looks like they're getting ready for carnival. Oh uh, yeah, we got some big heads for carnival being built over there. The funny thing is we got here and it seemed we're really worried because it seems super slow and really quiet, but it's about 10 minutes after four and it's picking up. Yeah, we're starting to think we're having a repeat of Asuncion, no! but <laughs> it's uh, livening up and looking good. Let's walk over here. So the city was built up on a hill, I'm guessing for, to have good lookouts for enemies coming, but now, from lots of points, you can just see down into Hisife. Everywhere we turn here, there's just another great view. There's this old church behind us. Spin around. We've got the ocean over here. Another church right here. One there. 
Man, this place is great. What are you thinking? I like it a lot. I think I like the places that have a good mix of history and modern. And you can see kind of what they were thinking. Like even out here, you see the bay. You can see that they were, that's how they protected. Yeah. The area. Beautiful. Very nice. Yeah, nice. Belinda was actually an economic powerhouse in Brazil for almost 200 years, starting around the uh, end of the 16th century, and they made all their money off of the sugarcane industry. And that's where things get a little bit sketchy, because a big reason they were so successful is because of the slaves that they had to do the work on the sugarcane industries. But luckily they came around in 18... 88 and abolished slavery, but uh, yeah, it is a terrible part of history you got to contend with when you do things, when you make a ton of money, you have help. <laughs> that is not always paid for. All right, so we did just learn that here at uh, Four Corners, I think is what it's called, it is a major intersection for Carnival. The parade routes come through here. We saw some pictures and the streets were completely packed. People as far as you could see. Here's some music coming on down here. Go a little off course and see what we're what we're hearing over here. And there's a guy sleeping. Let's see what we have here. Right next to one of the original authorities. <laughs> just a room full of giant heads. This is so big. I just want to get a sense. Like these <laughs> things are so tall. There's like two and a half of you. <laughs> <laughs> This guy looks familiar. It's like Chris Weidman. We've been trying to get a pretty good sunset for a while. So, and this one is pretty amazing. Again, I think it's that awesome combination between city and the skyline of the city and then the old uh, Olinda. And it's just, it's really, really cool. It's a popular spot if you can hear all the folks around us, but they're in this space. I really like them here. I think yeah. the, the people are polite. Um, there's a ton of things to see. Everybody's really nice. Even some of the vendors that are selling stuff are not terribly annoying. So it's a relaxing place to come after you've been in kind of a hustle and bustle of a bigger city. It's a nice place to come and relax and just <laughs> and even here, we have a pretty cool 360 